Joseph. Jumping the gun. You are. <laughs> so with our plank chair, we have a 12-step program. It sounds funny, but it's a 12-step program in restoring a plank chair. And every single chair is done to those 12 steps. I do the quality control on these chairs. And if you miss out a step, I'll know you've missed out a step. It's just the nature of the chair and how it works. And that's the best finish we get out of that chair is using these 12 steps. So first step, assess the chair, like I've said, check if it's all good. Second step, stripping. Um, oh, when you're stripping these chairs, now these, they come in, we, there's two timbers that they come in, oak and teak. The teak, we don't touch the teak ones, they just, we don't like them, they don't work for us. The oak ones are the best ones out there. Uh, just because the teak, they're very plain and bland. There's no real nice grain in teak, whereas the oak, each piece is different. No two pieces of oak are ever the same. Um, so when we use the stripper, because it's oak, you can't use normal stainless steel. We use, so we strip it and then we remove it with stainless steel. Wool. Wool. Steel wool, yeah. Yeah, yeah. steel wool. Yeah. You can't use normal steel wool on oak, because what happens is it gets in the grain and it oxidizes. Yeah, it you know what oxidization is? Yeah, it starts rusting in the grain and it makes, it makes little black spots in it, which are really hard to get out once they're in. Yeah, so we use stainless steel wool, it's very pricey, probably three or four times the price of normal steel wool. But at the end of the day, that three or four times cost saves you the man hours in trying to sand out those black spots. Mm. So you might get microscopic bits stuck in there, but it's not going to make any difference no. to the... the no, yeah, because... Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 yeah, it doesn't rust as easy as the other stuff. So, 